that from distance. When what Clay's doing, phenomenal. How special was it, Jenna? Last night, 52 points. 56 Play, dribbles, three. Yes, sir. 96 Play, seconds. Decisions. That's how long he had. That's how long he had the ball. 96 three. seconds to be able to get those 52 dribbles points. So when you see Play this man lighting you up, could you follow? He Play shot 24 Play threes Thompson. in 26 minutes. You know how Play exhausting Thompson. that is. Play like the, the it, he he was taken out midway through the third Play with 52 NBA pass. record for threes attempted, threes made. He could have scored 75 to be able to shoot the ball with that consistency the way he did. Man, he was in fuego. Hello, and welcome to Sports Vaults, presented by Data Productions, uncovering the untold, lost, and forgotten files of the sports world. October 29th, 2018. The Golden State Warriors' second Splash Bro would surpass the first Splash Bros, Stephen Curry's NBA record of most three-point field goals made in one game with 14. 52 points on 56 dribbles within three quarters in only 26 minutes and 33 seconds of game time played. This performance from behind the arc has already been etched in the history books and maybe him and only Steph would be able to break this record. But was this showcase of shooting the long ball purely organic or scripted like the rest of the major sports performances I have broken down on this channel so far? Today, I will continue to show you the scripted theatrics in the sports world and break down how this was ritualistically performed to continue to mock the viewers and fans of basketball. Continually reminding the awake that many sports fans are still under the illusion of the bread and circus charade. But to understand the method behind the madness, you must understand the spiritual alphanumerical system known as gematria. Gematria is a numerological system by which Hebrew letters correspond to numbers, but we will be utilizing the English alphabet for our decoding today. So in simple terms, ABC equals one, two, three. This system, developed by practitioners of Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, derived from Greek influence and became a tool for interpreting biblical texts. One can then calculate the numerical value of a word by adding together the values of each letter in it. In the realm of biblical interpretation, commentators based an argument on numerological equivalence of words. If a word's numerical value equals that of another word, a commentator might draw a connection between these two words and the verses in which they appear and use this to prove a larger conceptual conclusion. Gematria is essential to Kabbalah, the Jewish mystical tradition. The very basis of the Kabbalistic cosmological system rests on the beliefs that God created the universe through letters, numbers, and words. Indeed, the many names of God and their permutations in Kabbalah have numerical values that are believed to contain potent power. And for numerology, it is a study of numbers in your life. You can uncover information about the world and also each individual person by using numerology. Numerology is seen as a universal language of numbers. So when you add gematria and numerology together, you have a powerful combination of occult knowledge to work with while breaking down games. There are many different ciphers one can use, but the top four we will be using are the English ordinal, ABC equals one, two, three, it's reverse, where Z equals one and A equals 26. Then we have the pure English reduction ciphers, or otherwise called the Pythagorean cipher which is A equals one all the way to I equals nine. Then it resets at J equaling one, K equals two, and so on. And then it's reverse. So how I can make these calculations really quick and really easy is going to gematrianator.com. It has all the different ciphers you can use. It starts with the top four ciphers that we primarily will use on this page, but it can get even deeper with that with other ciphers so go check this out once you want to do your own research or you can have the gematria calculator on the app that's from zachary k hubbard that will help you with your research as well this may be confusing at first 
but this is a systematic code that was created thousands of years ago. And to put it bluntly, religion is a major part of our world. The elite ruling class have been using sport since the Roman times to cast spells and captivate the population. If you watch my Uncut Gems movie breakdown, I get into it a bit more. But do your own research and come to your own conclusions after doing your own research. Because this is what I have done. What made this game versus the Chicago Bulls historic was that Klay Thompson made 14 three-point field goals in one game, breaking Steph Curry's record of 13. The word 14 equals 41 in reduction gematria, which connects to Golden State that equals 41 in the same cipher. In total, Klay scored 52 points off 56 dribbles in the game. Klay Thompson equals 52 in reduction, but also 56 in reverse reduction. Klay Thompson is also the son of former NBA player Michael George Thompson, and his full name equals to 239 in English Ordinal Gematria. This is noteworthy because 239 is the 52nd prime, which goes back to Klay Thompson summing to 52. This game seemed to be a tribute to his father, who was once a part of the Showtime Lakers dynasty. One could surmise that Clay was born to play pro basketball. Clay's 28th birthday was on February 8, 2018, which could be written as 2-8 or 8-2. Pro basketball equals 82 in reverse reduction, correlating to the fact that the NBA normally plays 82 games in one season. Remember, reflections of numbers are significant in various codings within sports. To solidify his destiny of being a Splash Brother, he was born to play with Steph Curry, who was born on Pi Day, or March 14th, or 314, like 3.14. Clay's full name, Clay Alexander Thompson, equals 314 in reverse English ordinal. Also, this accomplishment came 263 days after his birthday. 263 is the 56th prime. The reason why this was a tribute to his father, Michael Thompson, because if you add up the total score of both teams, it equals to 273. From Michael's birthday on January 30th, the game was played 273 days from that date. At that time, Michael was 63 years old, and October 29th leaves 63 days left in the year. Some more obvious scripting comes from the all-important number of the NBA, 113. The National Basketball Association equals 113 in the reduction cipher. And if you notice, Clay broke the all-time record for three-pointers made in a game with a shot that gave the Warriors 113 points. But it doesn't stop there. Even for professional basketball players, making 14 three-point shots in one game is very difficult and maybe close to improbable, even against the lowly Bulls. But interestingly enough, magnetic basketball equals 113 as well in the reverse reduction cipher. That potentially means that Clay's historic performance was helped with magnetic technology in the basketball and or rim to accomplish this feat. So much for organic and pure basketball at the highest level of competition. But again, we must remember that professional sports is purely for entertainment purposes, and we must be cognizant of that. Before wrapping up this video, you may have noticed that I did not have footage for the 10th three-pointer made from Klay Thompson. It was with 2 minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter of the game. I scoured the internet to try and find footage of this three-pointer, but in every highlight video, official NBA or not, it was not present. All the highlight reels show 13 out of the 14 threes. While I try not to reach for conclusions and stick to provable facts, I have a suspicion that the reason why the 10th three-pointer was scrubbed from all the videos on the internet is because his foot may have been on the line. But for scripting purposes and keeping the illusion of his achievement valid, they made sure no one will be able to find it or see it. If anyone out there is able to find game footage of Klay Thompson's 10th three-pointer made of this day, please share your source below in the comment section. What's your take on this topic? 
do you think the NBA scripted Klay Thompson's historic performance? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Like and subscribe for more investigation content like this. This was Sports Vaults, presented by Data Productions. See you next time.